Hello and welcome to another What Sold on eBay video. I'm your host, Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler. We are going to go over the top 10 items sold in the month of September 2020, this wonderful year that we're having. Isn't this year the greatest year that we've ever had? Anyways, we're going to go over the top 10. As a matter of fact, I got some special bonuses for you and everyone listening today or listening, watching, whatever this is. And um, we're going to have a little bit of extra items for everyone to kind of check out. Uh, if you're new to the channel, what I do is I go over some of the items that are sold. We go over a little bit of a history, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And you learn different things to sell on eBay um, that you might not know about. And uh, I've been reselling for over 30 years, so I have a lot of wealth of information. I love to share it, and I love this channel. And if you like this kind of information, definitely go down there. Click the subscribe button if you're new. Click the bell for notifications. Ring that bell. Let's get right into it. Uh, first up, we have an honorable mention, these Pokemon, vintage Pokemon cards. Uh, this is a whole stack of them. Uh, we did a bid start. I think I started this at $24.99. Uh, now, there wasn't anything spectacular in this. There was a lot of this and a lot of that. There's actually a pretty good amount of hollows. So whoever bought this actually did get a good deal here for $117. And uh, I did a Pokemon video and I'm going to leave a link above, and I, if I can remember, I'll leave a link below. If you know nothing about Pokemon cards and you've seen them, this video will give you the basics so you can go and find that $100,000 Charizard figure. Figure? Card? Excuse me. And so definitely go and check that video out. But anyways, this was a great sale, and this is easy to ship. And bada bing, bada boom. Uh, next up, we have this Authentic Models. This is a Bermuda Sloop, which is a wooden sailboat, yacht, model kit. You know, like put all the different little keywords in there. As you can see here, it's like a wooden model kit. It's pretty much, art, pretty much put together. All you need to do is kind of just put up the sail and everything. Uh, this thing was brand new in the box. I definitely had to open it up to make sure that all the pieces were kind of not there, but at least the pieces were kind of, you know, in the box and everything like that, because, you know, you never know, you open one of these things that have been sealed for 10 or 20 years, and, you know, the pieces are all over the place, but this was actually a really nice sale. This sold for $124.99, are you out of your mind, Bermuda Slough Floppy Schloop, which is kind of like a real small sailboat, but it's really cool, it's all made out of wood, pretty high quality. As you can see here, so keep an eye out for these. I, you know, I, I I come across these every once in a while at uh, estate sales and garage sales, and for the most part, these things are usually put together. So finding these things like in a box is actually really hard to do, especially like one that's in the in, in new and new condition. And you know, some of them go for a crazy amount of money, but for the most part, uh, you know, these things are going to range anywhere between fifty and hundred dollars. So this is actually a really good sale. Uh, next up, we have this 14 karat gold chain bracelet. It was eight and a half inches long. And I did do the weight photo, as you can see here. This was weighing in at 3.89 grams. And of course, I got the photo of the 14 karat mark. I would test everything. If, you ever, if you're ever selling gold, make sure you do uh, acid tests. Um, which is like basically the scratch test and the magnet test, because that'll tell you a lot. Uh, one thing that I've learned over the years is um, gold weighs about 20 more. Gold is about 20 times denser than water. So gold is going to have some weight to it. Like even if it's really thin or it's hollow or stuff, it's going to have a little bit more weight than a normal piece of metal or brass or something that's fake. But the magnet test is where you start. Start with a high-powered magnet. If the gold, if if it sticks to the magnet uh, where the chain is, it's not going to be gold. Uh, sometimes the clasps are made of different metals, so the clasps are going to stick usually to a magnet. But the chain part, you know, you got to you got to test the whole thing. And uh, once you get past that, then you do the acid test. And uh, be very careful with that stuff. There's tons of videos. As a matter of fact, I should probably make a video on how to do that. It's really easy to do. It's just chemicals. And, and you know, it, it could be dangerous. I, there is actually some precautions that I usually take. Um, 
and maybe I'll just do a video on it at some point. Just just be careful. Be in a well ventilated place when you use that stuff, and don't inhale those fumes because you'll have a migraine for uh, you know a couple days. Next up, we have this vintage Lalique. Lalique, baby, Lalique is my favorite glass out of all the Waterford. Pff, get to the curb, Waterford. Lalique is where it's at when it comes to glass. And there's actually there's actually another. I'm trying to think. There's another glass company that's actually really, really, really high end. And I'm trying to remember what it was. If you can remember. They do like little birds and little animals. And I know Lalique does the little birds and the little animals, but I don't remember what it is. It's another brand. It's like Lalique. And I, and I want to say it's even out of France also. Or maybe it is Lalique that I'm thinking of. What am I thinking? Uh, Waterford's another one. And I know there's other ones. And I just, I forget it. My brain is, my brain is 2020 mush sickle popsicles. Okay. Anyways. Uh, these are kind of like a pair of candlestick holders and let's see this was from San Jose so this was Jake uh, Jake's a new volunteer doing eBay stuff for us so let's see if Jake this is going to be a test for Jake did Jake get the etching of the leak on here no he didn't Jake how dare you every Lalique piece will have like it'll be usually etched at the base and it's usually in like uh, cursive writing and um, I want to say it's etched and like there's, I think it's, I think scribed is the correct word because etching is actually like a, we're going to get nerdy here, everyone, get ready, put your nerdy, put your nerdy pants on. Uh, etching is basically when you use like a, it's like a screen, like silk screen and acid and it kind of burns the glass and uh, scribing is more like a scratch and uh, usually they scribe the uh, leak. Um, France on the bottom and we've we've done videos about that you know about this um with any kind of glass if you're listening glass just make sure you're looking at all the edges the corners make sure they're not ding cracked uh usually uh, glass will be cracked I mean not cracked like chipped um so definitely check out the the circular parts of the thing and the corner parts of the thing and just check out all the parts of the thing next up we have the Stella McCartney McCartney? McCart McCart McCartney. Stella McCartney. Is that like Paul McCartney? Stella McCartney. Anyways, we have these Stella McCartney Star Elise platform shoes. Blue denim. Uh, Stella McCartney is definitely a bolo brand to look out for. Not everything's going to be super expensive, but we have sold like uh, different clothing and stuff. So it's like one of those brands that is like... Uh, one of those designers that, that has to do everything, like, oh my god, I got shoes and sweaters and jeans and costume jewelry and uh, I don't know what else they got. Handbags and things. Uh, anyways, it is a Bolo brand. Look out for this brand. It does go for pretty good money if you can find it for cheap enough. And I don't think there's like uh, counterfeit Stella McCartney. I'm pretty sure there is. I always like, I always like kind of think about that too because I deal with a lot of uh, high-end clothing in high-end designer stuff and uh it's like at this point i mean i guess everything could be counterfeit so just look just make sure that you're you're looking at comps and things and looking at quality because quality will always beget quality and that's how you find uh things that are authentic or not to be honest even though fakes are actually getting a lot better uh, next up, we have this Hearts of Amish Country Books. This is a complete set of 24 mint condition books. I this I I someone bought this. I mean, t to each their own. I would I guess if I was in prison, I'd read this. If there was nothing else to do, I'm like I don't <laughs> in prison. Maybe if I was stuck in a the desert island and like this is the only thing to read, I guess I would read this stuff. But it, to each their own. I'm sure there's a there. There's hunks, uh, <laughs> there's hunks and love interests in these in these novels or novellas or whatever they are. Anyways, this sold for two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Uh, actually, a pretty good set of twenty-four books. Um, can't say much about this because I don't really know much about this. But anyways, huge shout out to Eureka. It's probably Deb or Haley that listed this. And uh, we've sold actually collections of books before in the past, some vintage ones and things like that. Uh, we talked about the Harry Potter books in the past. And if I can actually remember to put a Harry Potter video that I did. So uh, they have first editions and they have like the first print run first editions. 
and I'll leave a video above or below if I can remember. And if you if I can't remember, just type in uh, Harry Potter in my uh, go to my page and then do the thing with the thing and then do the thing with the other thing, and then you do the thing. Next up, we have this bape. This is a bathing ape. Do we do we say do we say bathing ape? Okay, bathing ape. Um, this actually goes by Bape, and I think I actually had to go in, and a huge shout-out to Deb and Isabella in Northridge, uh, brand new uh, eBay sellers for us, and so the, this was, like, I think this was like their second item they listed, and it, and it sold for $250, a great sale, um, but I went in and I changed it to Bape, because, uh, or I put the Bape keyword, because it's Bathing Ape, but in the industry, in the hood, G, it's Bape. And uh, if you don't know about Bathing Ape, definitely go and look. Now, I'm pretty sure they do counterfeit Bathing Ape because it's like, it's like Supreme. It's pr like, that's the closest brand that I can think of. It's like hip hop, street, cred, wear things, you know, like, and, and they're known for these tiger sharks, uh, these tiger shark teeth, which is a total ripoff from World War II Spitfires. I think actually the P-51s actually had them on there too. Anyways, pretty cool stuff. Uh, look out for this ape. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, Planet of the Apes, I guess. That's kind of, that's the logo. And sometimes you find like, they'll have like shirts with that like ape logo on there. And it says, uh, you know, World Gone Mad, 1993. And th that's, this stuff has been out for that long. Uh, I remember when Supreme was like a really rinky-dink skateboard company. And so was uh, uh, Bape was like a rinky-dink skateboarding company. And it's crazy how all these, these kind of like smaller uh, companies, especially Supreme. Oh my God. I remember when Supreme stuff was just regular skateboarding attire that you can get for like, you know, super cheap. Now it's become this like multi-billion dollar uh, entity. Next up is another gold chain. This is a bracelet chain. 8.75 inches, man. All those inches, 24, I was going to say 24, 14 karat gold. And it's got the lobster claw. Roar. Uh, actually, it's 14 karat on the lobster claw, as you can see there. I think it's called the losper. Los, <laughs> it's called the losper. Losper grasp. It's called the lo lobster grasp. Losper grasp. <laughs> uh, forget it. Anyways, gold. We've talked about this. I always have a photo with like the, the weight scale thingy. These scales cost like 10 bucks. And, the, and if you don't have one and you solve this stuff, you have to have one. How are you going to know? And you can go on all kinds of places on Google to find out how much like it, the weight, the gold weight is. So at least in your head, you know, like what the, the range is, even though like people for the most part buy this kind of stuff for scrap and the gold value. There's there's I mean, I guess people still buy this kind of stuff for fashion jewelry, but for the most part, people are buying this stuff for the gold weight because of all the. Um, you know, the hedging against the uncertainty and all that stuff. And you can check the prices of gold. It goes up and down every day. And uh, gold has seen some pretty crazy uh, highs this year, and so has silver. Uh, so it's just one of those things to be, um, you know, just aware of. Be aware. Uh, next up, speaking of silver, we got this vintage sterling silver. Oh, I <laughs> actually put this, I actually stored... <laughs> Uh, this is going to be funny. I, I wish I, sh I should have probably saved the, the ah, I should have saved it. Um, I actually put this bowl on uh, the head of my mannequin. Anyways, this is pure silver, sold, blah, blah, blah. You know, sterling, look on the bottom. Everyone should know about sterling silver. Let's see here. See, here, there it is right there, sterling silver. It's a reproduction from a 1726 design. And uh, it did test uh, silver. I did a little scratch test on this. And uh, this actually was kind of a little bit hard to, to, to kind of... Anyways, let's get to the fun part. Let's see if I can do this here. Thrift Shop Hustler Instagram. Let's see if this is the first thing that comes up or not. Yes, it is. I, I actually put that bowl on my mannequin Lola's head for like a month. Here. Now, where is it? Oh, wait. No, what do you doing i don't want to log in to continue i don't have a sign i don't want to i don't want to sign up for instagram i want to show the people the thing where is it i thought i had it on here this is a i don't want to sign in i don't want to do that i don't want to sign in well, anyways it should have been in there i thought i put it on maybe i put it on the evilos one man i'm losing my mind 
Let's take it real quick. I'm, I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I'm having the 2020 vibes right now. Okay, I apologize. We're gonna get back to the regular schedule program. What the what the f is going on? Ay ay ay. Let's do Evilos. It's, I swear we're gonna get back to the regis, regular scheduler program. I just I want to show you guys this because it's funny, and I think everyone needs a good laugh. And where it's not where did it go? I swear I swear to God I put it. I swear to God, I put it on my Instagram feed, and now it's not there. And now I look like an idiot. And there's the Derek Stuber painting. Anyways, I apologize. I put I put this bowl on our mannequin's head. Wait, where did the bowl go? Oh my god. Complete failure. Click the like button if you like this content so far. I know I took you on like a, I usually take you on a side track or a side path or whatever, fork in the road. And this one completely fit. I got some Twinkies right. Oh, I got a hostess Twinkie right here. Hmm. You can hear the bag. Hear the bag. Mm. It's a Twinkie. It's so good. I'm gonna eat it after this video. Uh, here's the Derek Stuber Adventures of Oil on board. We sold this painting for five thousand dollars last year. Was it last year? Holy crap! It's been a year. We sold this painting for five thousand dollars. The customer got it. They didn't. They weren't happy with it. They, we, we had it in a frame. It was broken. I threw the frame out. And that's a whole other story in itself. Don't get me started. Uh, they returned it. It was a $5,000 sale. I, d let me tell you, like, getting, like, having a, I don't care. I don't, I don't care what anyone says here on, e on eBay, the resellers. Yo, when you have a $5,000 return, you ain't got nothing on that. <laughs> Imagine the feeling of that getting that email. Like, I don't like this painting. What did you do? Like, I don't know. They, I think they, honestly, I think they had buyer's remorse. So, anyways, we listed it for five grand again. We we sat on this painting. I almost bought this painting. I actually researched uh, how, like a restoration job, and it would have cost about like twelve hundred dollars to restore it and get a new frame on it. Um, I almost bought this painting myself, to be honest. And I was gonna put it away. The, the 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 artist this would if you brought this in the antique road show i bet you they would they would they would highlight it on the show that's this this artist isn't like super important but there it's important enough where that's actually got some value to it um i guess let's take a look a little little look at actually this painting is actually really cool as you can see here let me see if i show the back of it the adventurers is the title uh, a, word of, a word of warning, real quick. Never replace a frame of a vintage painting because sometimes that adds uh, value to your painting. So don't do that, even if it's broken, like I did. I messed up. I really messed up. Anyways, it sold for $500. God, you guys probably think I'm crazy. If you think I'm crazy, go down there and click the like button and leave a comment if you think I'm legitimately crazy because I am legitimately crazy. Here's the top three items. Number three. We got this vintage Sherve, a Sherve Sherive. This is a four sterling silver bowls. These are actually really fancy bowls. I'd probably, if I was like a, a well-to-do person, I would probably put cat food in this for my cat. If I had cats or a dog or maybe a little small dog. There was like three or four lots of these. And this came out of Santa. This is another Jake. Jake is doing an amazing job. Jake, if you're listening, you're probably not. I hope you're not watching these videos. Because I really do kind of critique a lot of the stuff that the listers are doing. Uh, Jake, you did a fine job. This was amazing. I think there was like three of these lots. And they all sold for like around... Uh, we took best offers, I think, for like four something on these things. They sold... Oh boy, did they sell. They sold really good. <laughs> These are sterling silver bowls. I mean, I think I'm going to probably end up doing... You know what I'm going to probably end up doing? Uh, I'm probably going to end up doing these videos without the silver. Because, I mean, there's so much silver. Number two, silver. Number two, $1,200 of sterling silver. It's like boring, right? Boring unless you find this. At a garage sale for like 40 bucks for the set. And you're like stoked. Look in the backs. Uh, there's no, uh, what is this, Pleasanton, so that's Julie. Uh, she didn't take a photo of the backs, man. She actually did a really good jo job with the photos. Because it shows, like, pretty much, like, everything. 
But there's a, on the very back when you flip it on the neck, it usually will say Sterling or or you hope it says Sterling, but for the most part, it's gonna say like International Sterling Co- or no Silver Company or something. They do that to trick you, but it's actually like Silver Plate. Uh, let me tell you. Let me just like break it down a little bit for you. Like a a, a plated silver set like this is probably worth like forty bucks, uh, fifty bucks. But the sterling silver ones, they can go from like six hundred to like two thousand dollars sometimes, depending on even like the uh, the type of company that makes it, and all that jazz. Uh, number one item sold. More sterling. This one's out of San Jose. Jake has been on fire last month. Jake, you're on fire, man. Look at this. $1,394 with nine bids. And did he did he take a photo of the things with the things? There's the things. Oh, actually, if you want to actually, you know, maybe I should actually inject some knowledge into this video instead of me just drooling over this Twinkie I have over here. For, for the most part, when you see sterling silver sets, the the knives, the butter knives, they're usually going to be stainless steel as the blades. And usually the necks or the handles are going to be sterling silver. And they'll be marked usually. It'll say like stainless steel. Uh, it's, I'm guessing that's what it says on the heads of those. I've done, these, I've done this for a long time where that's usually uh, the case. And if you're selling those individually, just know that the weight's going to be off by like maybe even more than 50% if you're doing them by weight. So just be, just realize that. Oh my God, you made it all the way through. If you made it all the way through, give yourself a high five. And there's like a, there's like a Zen Cohen and it's basically like a parable and a monk asks the students what does the sound of one hand sound like? And it's like a real, it's like kind of like a, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a riddle. It's like a riddle. And you're supposed to, in Zen Buddha, Zen Buddhist, it's like one of those questions like, what is one, what is the sound of one hand? Because two hands is clapping, right? What does, what sound does, does one hand make? I'll tell you what it makes. It's snapping, baby. <laughs> it's not, and I've all the things I've read, I never heard anyone say it's snapping because that's the sound of one hand, right? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, like I said, if you did make it all the way through, like pat yourself on the back, you should probably check yourself into a psychic ward too, or psychic, <laughs> psychiatric, a psychic ward. You, you know, like what I'm holding, the, I'm holding the envelope on my head, Johnny Carson. What is it? It's the psychic hour. Anyways, um, I hope I brought a little bit of levity into your life. I really appreciate everyone who tunes in and watches these videos. These are the most popular videos that I have, which isn't surprising because, I mean, everyone wants to see, like, stuff that's sold for, like, crazy amount of money. So um, I wish and bless everyone who is listening this far with extreme amounts of luck and inspiration to go out there and find your boxes of silver and gold and all that stuff in between. Once again, I'm Chris at Thrush Hustler. Have a blessed week. Take care.